Our first guest tonight is a, a very sick man who is both a longtime judge on America's Got Talent and hosts a podcast with his daughter, Jacqueline. It's called Howie Mandel Does Stuff. Please say hello to Howie Mandel. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You know, you're our first guest post-actor strike. You know what? I do know that. Okay. I do know that. And I was backstage before the show. I swear to you, this is not a joke. And I bumped into this man. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Guillermo. Uh-oh. And Guillermo, because I love Guillermo. And uh -huh. I walked up to him and I went, hey, Guillermo, it's great to see you. How's it going? And he goes, I cannot believe this, this strike. I'm so happy the strike is over. And I said, well, so, so am I. And he goes, because starting next week, we could have good guests. <laughs> That's what he said to me. <laughs> I swear, he said that to me. Nothing makes you feel more wanted than... Well, that's Guillermo's our Mater D. He really is. <laughs> oh, too bad you're here tonight, Howie, because next week <laughs> you would see people who are unbelievable. Oh, it's I so am exciting. so sorry that happened. No, no. I'm so sorry. What? I'm so sorry. For what? Uh, For much, what? I had too much tequila. I'm sorry. <laughs> tequila That's, and there's some. He says that to me, and he said it out loud in front of. That was. I walked out of the dressing room in the bar area. There's like a hundred guests and friends of guests, and he goes, "Next week, great <laughs> guests." I, I didn't say that. Because so he considers you, considers you to be part of the family, and Ex figured right. you know. Right, and you don't want to spend time with the family. You want to go out with great people. People leave when their you're home. with your friends. Although I feel like I've seen you a lot this year, right? I mean, I, a I, lot more than I usually see you. When's see, the last time we saw each okay, other? Okay, the last time we saw each other was not as great for me as it was for you. Oh. Um, you no, it was great, but I don't know if you know this. Uh, I'm, uh, well, you said I'm sick. I have, like, I, I don't go out. I do not go out. I'm not part of the whole Hollywood thing. I'm not friends with a lot of the great guests you, you have here. You won't touch people. I won't touch people. Yes, you are. I was invited. I have a very good friend. We have a mutual friend, uh, Jeff Ross. Jeff Ross. And you had a birthday dinner for Jeff Ross. Correct. And he assured me that, you know, we won't be around a lot of people. Uh, Jimmy's going to make it kind of private and outside, and there's no germs. Please join me. And I did. Yeah. I did. And I go, oh, my God. And I told my wife, I don't even know. I haven't been around a lot of people in a, in a setting, in just a, a party. I don't know what to do. First of all, I want to say it was the best pizza ever, that restaurant. Pizzeria Bianco. Yeah, the, right. The best yeah. food ever. But you set up a table on the, side, on the sidewalk. Right, yeah. So we weren't in the restaurant. So it's just these. And I, I don't have to mention names, but you had a lot of big Hollywood Jeff did. Jeff actually invited everybody. Yeah. There was a lot of people there, a lot of big Hollywood names. And I was uh -huh. just really uncomfortable. And I go, I haven't been around this kind of, I haven't been to a party and I haven't done it. And the first course comes out and everybody takes a step. And then I, I look up and uh, your friend uh, and my friend Daniel Kellison uh -huh. right. is, he gets up on the table and he goes and stands against the wall outside and he just, he's just doing this. <laughs> And, and I'm sitting there, and nobody, you continued eating, everybody's eating, and I'm going, there's a, there's a man jumping. <laughs> nobody's saying anything, and maybe this is, you know, <laughs> why is he jumping? Do you know why he was jumping? I don't remember. You don't remember? Uh, no. Um, he said he had indigestion or something like this. <laughs> oh, right. And you he... remember he had indigestion? But I asked way after, because I'm just sitting there going, like, am I next? Do I go up next? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I didn't know. I swear to God. I swear to God. I go, maybe when Jimmy throws these parties, okay, we'll start from the other end of the table. And like the fork, you go to the left. He jumps. Then I need you to jump. And then you took off. And I go, where did Jimmy go? And they said he went to get something from his car. Uh -huh. And then you come back with a bag. And I stood back, and I didn't know what was a bag. And everybody's reaching in the bag, and they're taking these pills. Yeah. And I go, what, did, what is that? And I heard them say, acid. And I went, oh, my God, this is so Hollywood. One guy's jumping, and he's getting acid for everybody. And people are going, these are good. And I said, you said, do you want one? And I went, no, <laughs> no. Do you remember what that was? Yeah, that was antacid. Antacid. It was. 
<laughs> they were. <laughs> and I'm just going to give them a plug because they are the most delicious antacids on earth, the Alka-Seltzer <laughs> chewables. I know. I have you a started... Ziploc bag full of them in what my car. What was great is it made me feel like I was so out of place at this Hollywood party. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel is serving acid. There's one guy jumping off in the corner. Everybody's reaching into your bag going, these are delicious. And it's just this antacid we still, rave. We still have no explanation for why he was jumping, but we'll just leave it. I thought you told him that it would... It would he it, decided that. I had nothing to do with but the But with jumping. not a smile, not excuse me, we're just mm. eating. Everybody's going, oh, do you, are you going to finish the salad? And he's just... Excited for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. It made me feel old. Now, feel you old. say you don't like to leave the house, but you're about to go on the road now, right? I do go is on Is that the a road. positive for you? Uh, well, it is a positive. Go to HowieMandel.com. You're going to be in New York next week, in Connecticut, and mm -hmm. I don't know where else. Pennsylvania. People are plotting. Uh, no, 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 no. In, uh, I know where you'll be. You'll be in uh, Red Bank, New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it, yes. I like my time on stage because I'm this far from people, but I do think <laughs> travel is not my thing. And I got freaked out after a couple of weeks ago when I saw the people on the airlines, they, they pooped down the aisle. Yeah, yeah, that's not for you. And No. At no. all. No, I'm, f I'm afraid to catch a cold in the plane. I don't want to be on. Yeah, no, yeah. You've always said that. You've always been really clear about yes. that. Yeah. Talk about, <laughs> talk about turbulence. You know what, I don't want... <laughs> How does that get, like, if I had to do that, I would just stay in my, I wouldn't, but I, why do you leave? Why would you leave when that is happening, your seat, and spread it? And then there's people on TikTok just taking pictures. So I, I freaked out. I'm going to uh -huh. be honest with you. Yeah. I freaked out, and I started taking um, private. Private now, jets. I'm taking private because jets. Because of the diarrhea? Because of diarrhea. Now, does this have something to do with the video that we have? Yeah. Should, do we need to set this up? Or? Yes. Yes, okay. So I started taking private jets, which is also, I'm not, I don't know the difference between acid and antacid, so I also, I'm not that bougie. Okay. But I figured, do, do, we have, do we have time that I can tell this? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I, I, I figured, I'm in a private jet. People think that celebrities are crazy. A lot of people have riders, you know, yeah. which you always see those, uh, you get a contract that says, I only want the green M&Ms, or right. I want the dressing room. So I figured if I'm landing in a private jet, people are going to think I'm this kind of person. Uh -huh. So, so, so I, I have the number of the guy that's picking me up at the airport. He doesn't know me. It's just a driver. Okay. So I have, this is what I write. I text him before it's, I, I write that this is, I'm the manager. I'm Howie Mandel's road manager. He has certain rituals that need to be adhered to. <laughs> Thanking you in advance. I swear I did, I made it up as I was going. My name is Rich, I'm the road manager. I'll, I'll be the first person you'll come in contact and I'll be carrying a small pink bag. I will hand the bag to you. When Mr. Mandel approaches, he likes the bag to be held within three feet of his head. Oh my God. Regardless of where he goes, making absolutely no eye contact. It will take him the next two minutes to garner his footing, which may consist of pacing, walking before entering your vehicle. Before he enters the vehicle, he will lean forward and extend his hand backwards, at which time you will hand him the said pink bag. As soon as Howie gets the bag back, he will give you a signal and you will make your way back to the vehicle at triple pace. Okay. <laughs> now, one more handoff. So I gave him these instructions. Can we take a break? And when we come back, we will conclude this with, I assume, this video? What we... You want to do it right now? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> I need a break. Okay. I need a break. Let's take would a break. Would you do this if this was like a good guest next week? <laughs> yes. I would. Howie Mandel is here. We'll be right back. Hey, we are back with Howie Mandel, who's, uh, you, you teased us, you teed it up, you sent this well, I'll text. Just, I'll recap. Yes. I I'm flying to my dates in a private jet. I figure why not act bougie instead of just being bougie. I texted the driver who's picking me up saying I was the manager. We're handing him a pink bag. The pink bag has to be held three feet from my head. You can't make eye contact. He needs to get his footing. At a certain point, I will crouch down, lift my hands. I need the hand to be handed over to me. And then on signal, I need you to run back to the car at triple pace. Okay. Okay, and then I will retrieve the bag again from turnover. So he's, can you imagine you're picking somebody up? You're going like, what is this? What is it? Why does he have so many rituals? He's not a good guest. 
This is this week. Anyway, my friends who travel on the road carry iPhones, and they videotape this as it's happening. Okay. So just watch it with me, and I'll take you along. That's Rich, my road manager. Okay. The guy with the hat is the driver. Okay. Play it, play it. All right. Okay, he handed him the bag. That's me <laughs> trying to get the footing. Within three feet, he's also carrying an iPad. There, I sped up. I'm going the other way. How can I not find the door? Because I don't have my footing. I make, that's the vehicle I'm supposed to be getting in right there. There it is. Just getting my legs in the footing. Nope. Need to pick up some speed. <laughs> this guy is intent on getting a tip. But he's following me on one level. Let's see how far he'll go. Is he willing to climb? Let's find out. I am. I climb up one level. Will he come with me? Yes, he's climbing with me. Well, he's up there. That can't be it. There's a tree. Let me see how far up this tree he will go. I take the tree. Does he want to quit driving at this point? I think that's too much. <laughs> so it's time for the handoff. Remember, I said, we're going to have a handoff. I'm going to turn 180 degrees. I'm going to squat, lift my hands, and you have to hand off. Turn, <laughs> hands up, squat down, pass off, pass off, pass off. I have it. Wait. Now, wait. Remember, when he signals, I got to get him back to the car at triple pace. Triple pace. He can't just walk back. To there he goes. <laughs> Triple pace. He opens the door for me. The final pass off. He takes the bag. I go in the car, and hilarity ensues at the theater. Well done. Oh, you are a crazy, Thank you. crazy, Thank crazy you. person. Thank you. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I do. Oh that's boy. That's what I do. And you managed to also work so much. You got another. What America's Got Talent? I'm Fantasy Land or Camp or what is it called? League. It's a fantasy, fantasy league. It's like we pick the best of the best from all over the world. That's coming out in March. March. And my podcast. Yes. Subscribe to Howie Mandel does stuff. I get to work with my kids. I work with my kids. I work I with my daughter podcast. and my son. We have a lot of fun. There. Yeah. You have fun working with your kids. I love working with my kids. My kids are great. I have two kids. To, and my and my youngest is uh, my youngest daughter is pregnant. So oh, she is. Wait, 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 wait! Don't she's thirteen. So we are. <laughs> so we're Howie Mandel, everybody, you go see him. Listen to his podcast, Howie Mandel stuff, and also Howie Live, November sixteenth in Red Bank, New Jersey, and the nineteenth in Westbury, New York. Tickets at HowieMandel.com. Thank you, Howie. We'll be back with Daniel Ricardo.